Hello there the files welcome back to the node concept and uh, today we are doing the Fresnel and the layer weight node as we told in our last video and yeah basically these two uh, things are uh, a very key uh, node to uh, PBR material so these two nodes have a real important uh, use when you are making uh, something which is physically accurate and uh, you know behaves differently with different situation in nature so uh, firstly we'll go through Fresnel and let's just add in uh, okay well, we'll work with the USB only okay so um, firstly uh, let's just add in our material node editor make a new material and we will uh, let me just keep this and shift D Shader, uh, where is that? Where is that? Um, glossy. Okay, I'm gonna mix that. Okay, all right. So, uh, go to input and select Fresnel over there. So, really small little node, and it has a IOR input and a normal input, and gives a value output. So it's another value output node. I thought input was full of. I don't know what's that vectors, but it's mostly full of uh, <laughs> values. So, anyways, uh, we'll just press Control Shift and left click, and oh, we don't have a camera. Lord. Never mind. Okay, tada! You can see this weird looking ball over here. So, what Fresnel actually does is uh, it uh, gives a blend between a darker and a brighter value and which uh, if you have a round and smooth surface it will uh, give a whiter uh, color at towards the edge so if you have a cube over here something like this and we bevel it this edge and like that okay so and again this material uh, okay. so now you can see the Fresnel is actually acting over there so it's Fresnel or Fresnel I don't know I call it Fresnel <laughs> just <laughs> easy to speak alright so you can see the Fresnel thing over there so the edges are giving you nice smooth white color because okay, just looks weird. totally weird <laughs> Alright, so you, you, you're getting the thing that I can do. So, uh, that is what Fresnel does. And then there is this IOR value. What this does is it controls the index of reflection. So, uh, if you have ever seen a plastic ball, and which is, you know, uh, very shiny, new plastic ball, which is very smooth, and if you hold it, uh, you know, uh, in front of a bri uh, bright light source, you'll see uh, the edges are uh, more brighter and reflective than uh, the central part. So this is what it does. So uh, once you uh, plug this into the factor over here, uh, you'll see the glass. Let's just change the color. Yeah. Okay, so the edge is now a reddish gloss and central part is still a uh, diffuse of red. Okay, so, uh, but if you see over here, it's not exactly black over here. So, uh, if you want you, you know, have it as a black color, you can do is increase the contrast or do some stuff, and you can also use RGB curve. But uh, Andrew Price recently uh, released a new tutorial on his site Blender Guru, so uh, we have a link uh, where he uh, shows you how to use the Fresnel node more efficiently with you know some more uh, nodes over here to be used into the factor, and that's awesome. You can see have a link in the description. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's basically this. And IOR, if I change this to something like uh, one, so you will see this is a complete black color. Why? Right. So as I was talking about that plastic ball. So uh, uh, for example, if they we choose is uh, something like a pottery. So you know, a pottery which has a layer of glass. And uh, what's it called? Outer layer of glass, and if you have seen that kind of pottery, I know. Okay, I'll just show you. We'll go to Google, and I know what uh, the term is. Uh, actually, it's not coming into my mind. Okay, we'll just go to Google Images. I'll show you pottery. Um, yeah, something like this. Um, all right, oh, here, this one. See, so it has you know a kind of a layer of glass on top of it, so it's like varnished on top, 
yeah. painted glass thing like that so it causes a reflection and around the corners the reflection is higher than on the faces so on uh, the front side so uh, similarly this is uh, what Fresnel is doing so uh, the IOR is actually uh, index of refraction so uh, it is actually the ratio between the speed of light in vacuum to speed of light in uh, objects so as we talk about that in the glass shader tutorial I'll fade back <laughs> So, uh, our IOR of 1.3 is uh, the IOR of water. So now it looks, it will give you an effect uh, of a layer of water on top of this ball. So uh, that will uh, give this kind of a result. And once you have a you know, complex notch uh, set up over there. And let's just enable a pro lighting sky. Ooh, we have that. Yay. Okay. So, da da. I'll just make this back to uh, okay. Oops, I made that good. Okay, white color. Now you can see. Sky is reflecting quite nicely over here. And you will give you'll get a more shiny color over here and a more of a diffuse color towards the center. So that's looking great actually. Okay, so this is what uh, the Fresnel is doing now. It also has a normal input. So now, if we have something like, uh, let's just see. Let me see. Can you see anything? Nope. Okay. So not working quite nicely. All right. So uh, let's just add in a contrast in. Ta da. Now. So, uh, it's not working actually. So, we have to pass this through a vector converting node. So, uh, we'll be going through this node pretty soon. That's a vector node. We call that a bump. Ta da! Okay. Alright. There it is. So, now it's also helping to get, uh, you know, the normals are actually now uh, detecting the small little bumps on the surface of. Uh, your object which will also affect uh, the factor amount of the Fresnel now tada oh it looks black <laughs> it have size okay so all right you can see with it the things that small bumps which are making it look better now uh, this looks like there is a thin layer of water on top of this uh, UV sphere that is causing that weird reflection which is simulated by this Fresnel Right, so this is what Fresnel does actually. Now, uh, IOR of 2 will give you pretty high reflection. So, that's because, you know, the higher the IOR value is, the brighter your uh, reflection will be. So, this gets uh, more and more brighter, and that's why you get to see uh, less of the diffuse shader and more of the glossy shader. So, uh, we have done this for now. Now let's just keep it aside and add in another input and layer it. Ta da! Okay, you'll just go over here on top of that. Okay, now uh, you can see there is another thing. Uh, the Fresnel is also over here in the layer weight, and these two are pretty much the same. Just thing is, uh, here the Fresnel uses a blend between 0 and 1. So, uh, blend of zero will give you black color, and blend of one will give you white color. So, that's useless. <laughs> we need always a smaller blend between them. So, something like that. Okay. There, there it is. So, now, the Fresnel can be controlled via this blend value. Yay! Great. So, so I know that what Fresnel does is the same thing. And you plug that in there. There, Useless thing. Now, uh, the facing, which is an uh, interesting thing. So, uh, you won't be uh, noticing any difference between the facing. Oh, you will. <laughs> Sorry. My mistake is not connected to the viewer. Okay, so you will see if there is a difference. Uh, this is actually, you know, uh, facing is giving you more of a blend between the black and the white color. But also, there is a pretty interesting thing about uh, facing. Go over there, let's go back. Okay, so let's just get back to the tab. Same thing now from the top view. If I press control, oh, sorry, shift Z, you will see uh, we get a black color for this, but for this one, we still get that gradient thing over there. So 
Now the facing it is also view dependent. So uh, the more you see at it from a sharper, you know, angle between uh, where the angle between the camera and the plane is uh, you know, close to zero, you'll get is a whiter value, brighter value that will you know use the glossy more. And as you see from the top, you'll see there is less gloss. So uh, you know these things happen in nature as well. So if you are you know ever seen someone uh, cleaning the floor with water and detergent, and then if you, if you see from the top the tiles will look uh, very you know, uh, dry something like that, and if you see them uh, from a closer grazing view, so you will see that there is actually quite a reflection falling on uh, on the tiles, and you can see the reflections of the ceiling, doors, whatever. So. Uh, uh, this is what uh, facing does so that's difference and yeah of course Fresnel also is simulating a uh, same kind of thing this thing is the blend is a bit smaller so uh, to use those kind of things you just use facing so that looks pretty good so now uh, every time you're making a uh, material which is physically accurate uh, you have to use these two so even if you are having some kind of a gloss map or uh, anything so you have to you know com uh, kind of uh, mix these two so uh, you can always add in a mix color with that Ta da hey go away now if you have something like uh, let me just you know, fake it <laughs> so like uh, the this noise texture is giving you your gloss thing so we'll just connect it over and let's make it to the end blue or something like that. Okay, so uh, you can see the gloss is actually working over here. So the blue parts are getting more gloss and the white are diffused. So even if this is actually good, you have to actually kind of mix these two. So Fresnel and this. And then if I plug it over there. Now you have is a better control over there. So now uh, you can play around with these things. So you can put this multiply and increase the factor. You have to play around with that. You have to see which value sets up over there and best value. You'll just use that. So and if you don't want to use this thing, and if you have uh, if you don't have a reflection map, you can always use this facing for now, whichever suits best. So. This is good thing and uh, problem is if you are making you know if you are into game developing or animations and things and you are very used to baking your uh, materials into your objects so uh, once you are using these two these are PBR nodes so uh, they are affected by uh, the view and the light source and things and that's why you cannot actually bake them. Uh, if you if you even try to bake them in a uh, blender you'll get a really weird result that is nowhere close to what you will be uh, looking for I once tried that myself and I was really pissed off <laughs> and I had no idea why the bake was not working then someone told me this thing this Fresnel and Lirvit thing that will not allow you to bake your materials so that's a bad thing <laughs> never mind that looks cute so uh, that is it for the tutorial I guess and and uh, yeah, next we will be doing, I don't know, maybe RGB and value, these two, <laughs> really, <laughs> uh, really, <laughs> those two nodes are not worth making a tutorial on, but uh, we have to do it. Alright, so, uh, that was it for the final and little bit uh, node, and if you have some query, you can uh, post it in the comment section, we'll be glad to answer your doubts, and subscribe to stay tuned to see our next video on the RGB and the value and you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blendfile for more awesome tip of the weeks and things and yeah to learn happy blending and use these PBR nodes to make really awesome tutorials and yeah there are many tutorials on uh, PBR materials you can you should see them this, those are awesome so uh, so then uh, we hope to see you in our next video bye bye